So we have two type of strategies. Um, I want to show you how we look for a stronger or weaker position in the market. So we have the wave strategy to the left with the indicator and the strategy. And that's what we're looking for this morning. So this is the wave strategy. What we're looking for, we're looking for shallow retracements that stay below our shallow zone. So right now we got a setup happening right now in the S&P, right here, right now. We're below the shallow retracement. If we get pulled in, we got a possible setup coming right now. We had one this morning here at 554. Below the shallow, our signal line stayed below 20. There's a pull in, but you can see right now we have a possible setup that's happening in the market. right now so we have the wave strategy and then we have what's called a momentum strategy then we have a momo strategy so let's take a look at the difference in strategies so the momentum strategy let's take a look at the right up the momentum strategy first so the idea is is what we want to do is we want to see when the market is in a stronger or weaker position stronger or weaker position so let me blow this up we have two signal lines below i separated this but i like to overlap these which you just left click on the signal line and overlap it which we show in the room but if you look at the first signal line, our smaller signal line, when we get above, and you can adjust these levels, but I like 80, 20. When you're above 80, you're in a real strong position. So you can see the market when we came up on the S&P, a doji forms, watch your signal line. And if the signal line does not pull back below 40, you have a possible setup when you get pulled in. And this is what the algo picked up. But you can use two signal lines, a shorter and a longer one. Here's our longer one. I love when it gets pegged above 80. And the shorter one pulls back above 80. This is the best possible momentum trade you're going to get. When you have both of them, you have this one. And this one pegged above 80. Your larger signal line, I like when it gets pegged above 80. And then we get a retracement. This would have been a trade also if you didn't have a trailing stop loss. This is also a setup. Signal line is pegged above 80. Larger signal line. And the shorter signal line is pegged above 80 again. That's another setup. This would be another qualified setup. It wasn't long. Third, third here again. This is another trade setup. Why signal line stayed above 80. Larger signal line stayed above 80 also. So you can see that's a stronger position in the market. That's a stronger position because this is a mom, the momentum indicator. It's, don't look at J Trader three. It's just that's we'll name it Sim Momo. But the market's in a stronger position. So you can use the indicator or the algo to look for those setups. Now what you can do, what you can do is let's look for a weaker position. A weaker position. Cell setup, stronger. Weaker position. A weaker position is just the opposite. A weaker position is when you get the main signal line below 80. Now we're below 80. And the shorter signal line is also below 80, but it can stay below 40. So our 65, sorry. So 65 bear would be here to have on the charts in the room.
So this is 65 bear. So this shorter signal line can come all the way up to 65. As long as it stays below 65, we're good to go for a short side setup. I want my larger signal line to stay below 20, though. But we're allowed to come all the way to 65 on a cell and all the way down to 45 on the, on the smaller signal line for a buy. So you can see that type of setup. All right, so that's called the momentum strategy. Now let's get inside of it a little bit. Let's take a look at the performance. This is a 118.18. This is for 60 days back. You can use any Rinko size that you want to use. But this is a smaller Rinko. It's a 118.18. 60 days back. Okay. So if I look go in the performance and I'll show you the the what I have as the strategy uh, the parameters also. Remember, past performance is not indicative of future results, but what you can see is the consistency of the momentum when they match. So here's my momentum for the past 60 days on four contracts with the parameters I'll show you. We're right around 75% on 80 set up or 80 contracts. So don't look at pretty much the net profit. You know, the net profit, obviously, that's good. Just under 20,000. Draw down on four contracts on the large contract. So on the micros, it's one-tenth of this. It would be 1,900, just under 2,000 with the $125 drawdown. But what this shows you is, it shows you the consistency of the momentum setups when both of these match according to my parameters. Now I'll show you which parameters that I have in here. And so you can see, when you guys get this in your hands, the consistency of the setup. So, if I get into the strategy, First off, guys, got hit. I don't know if you, you can't hold this through the news or not, but 4,400 and a quarter was a short. It got down to 4,395 on this short. Then I told you that a short's coming up, but I don't know if you guys took there or not, but just tagged out. But what I want to show you is that I have two bull bear lines now. I've got one bull signal line, two bull signal lines. My first one, my bear is below 65. You can put the num your numbers that you want in. Bear below 65. Bull above 40. Bear 2 would be bears below 5 and bulls above 95. Now you can change these to 80, 20 if you want or what have you. We don't have any of these checked. I have all the targets out to 1,000 ticks because my stop is not relevant because I have them out to all 1,000 ticks. That's a performance summary I just showed you. Remember, past performance is not indicative of future results, but it shows you the consistency of the momentum setup. I got ATRs running at 30, and I got my bull bear switched on. So let's say you only want one signal line below here and not two that confirm. If you want one, you can uncheck the signal one, a toggle switch on and off. This is very, very simple to understand, simple to implement. Your ATR trail will override your overall stop because it's going to get hit first. All right, depending if you where you put your trail. It's the best of both worlds. If I put this, this is a 118.18. If I put this to a 20 stop, but you can still have this also with the 30 trail. It's telling you it should never break that swing high or swing low. 
All right. So with the two signal line confirmation, though, if you have them both checked, it has to meet both of them. So it has to meet both of these right here. It has to. It's got to meet both of them. In other words, if you have them both toggle switched on, your larger signal line here has to be below, which it was, below 5. And your shorter signal line has to be below 65, which is up here, which it did. So if that happens, then you're going to get pulled in. This is the last 60 days on a 118.18, which is a smaller Renko size. Okay. So by matching these up, by matching these up, you can see here's yesterday's trade. I've got my main signal line below 5, according to this 118.18 chart. My secondary signal line, that's the best setup you can get. It's below 65, but more importantly, it's below 80. You get a momentum massive sell-off. Same thing happened in the morning. This is yesterday's trades also. It's in a stronger position because... I'm above, the signal line is above 80, my major signal line. Remember, both of them have to match. Consequently, my smaller signal line now has to stay above 40, but it's the best possible momentum in the market. It is above 40. It, anything above 40 is a strong momentum on the smaller signal line. So the algorithm picks it up and goes long yesterday in the market because it stayed above my 40 line. So you can see when the market gets in a stronger or a weaker position. And like I said, you can see that is a stronger position in the market. Just like I said, a trade before this little news that came out, the short was 4,400 and a quarter. It got as low as 43.95. Okay, so that shows you a stronger or weaker position in the market. Stronger or weaker position. Now, You can adjust the signal line to adjust your entries. So this is 923, 923, Phil. If you notice here, was another trade set up. But I got my signal line on the strategy below 5. But if you had it below 80, and below 80 or below 65, that's another cell setup right here. Caught that beautiful cell setup yesterday again also. Why it's in a weaker position. My signal line is below 80. So you can come in and you don't have to use these exact numbers. But let's say I want my bear to be below 20 now. My bull above 95. So you can see here, I'm in a weaker position. I'm below 20. I'm allowed to come all the way up to 65 on the bear. So that is a momentum indicator that we have. That's an indicator and a strategy for you. And it works on all markets. Like I said, that's a 118. I showed you the performance on it. Then I also showed you the numbers 
the, the numbers if you want to replay the video when you get this in your own hands. I will put this in the PDF. I now have 160 pages on the PDF done in examples. The PDF is only going to go to members. The PDF only go to members. I will, I'm not sending out to any trials or anything like that because I got some good information about this. Like I said, I'm up to 160 pages on the PDF. But you can see, you can adjust how you want to adjust your strength and weakness. Because now what we can do is we can adjust if the market is weak or strong based upon these two signal lines confirming, and they don't have to be the same signal lines. They're different. I just adjusted it, and it took this new trade. Okay. So you can adjust it depending how you want to do it, and you you can only you can only use one signal line for momentum if you want to. But I've got it where it has to confirm on two, and all you do, like I said, and this will be in the PDF also how to do this. Right now I have it to only for for my large signal line, which is my second bear bull line. I got to have to be below 20 bear. It's got to be below 20 here like it is over here to the right, which it check. It does. And then my bear 65, it's got to be below 65 on the retracement, which it was. And you got yourself a nice sell setup. But like I said, we can change that. If you want to be really extreme, I want my bear below 5. That means it's really pegged to the bottom and bull above 95. If you do that, and I have them both checked, and you don't have to use both signal lines to agree. You can just do one if you want. Just uncheck one of them. If I apply this, 95, this is not going to take this trade. But this is above 95. It'll take that trade. It won't take this trade because the signal line is 11 or 12. I have it below 5. That's coming up now. The strategy recognizes that, and it goes by the rules that I'm putting in. So this is the momentum strategy. All right, this is a sim momo. And like I said, I have over 160 examples. You will have the parameters to have a, a basis to start on it. And you'll have the indicator on the wave with it. Now, the next one is the wave. So what's the difference between the wave strategy and the sim momo strategy? The wave strategy will have the indicator attached like you have now. That gives audible alert, so that's sim momo. Remember, I have a dual signal line to confirm these trades. Showed you what it's done the last 60 days a second ago. If you want to put, like I said, more trades, these signal lines have to both agree. It shows that the market's in a weaker, stronger position. They have to both agree if you have both signal lines attached, depending on what parameter that you put in. And I'll show you how to do that under the PDF. Okay, so that's the SIM MOMO. Then what we have, let me find it here. One second. Then we have the wave momo. So you have the sim momo here. Stronger position in the market, which we can do it with the indicator or the strategy. Remember, we have three types of traders in the room. One, totally indicator-based. They will watch my shallow zones or deeper zones, which I'll go over in a second, and they watch the oscillator below to pull yourself in. Two, we have indicator. 
and strategy entry for trade management a lot of traders will like to do that because these once you get in once you see the doji form these oscillators are going to confirm with our zones which I'll show you in a second you can turn on the strategy and let it what a let it get you in B let the trail whatever trail you put in start trailing for you and C have your stop in which would be the trail no there's a lot of both they're they're equally mixed Larry in fact there's the majority of it is um, majority is the um, wave wave setups because we use them in the room a lot but yeah it's both That's the second type of trader we have. The third type of trader will be fully auto. And those are traders that will want to do like this. And they want to let it turn on. And like I said, from this specific setup using a 5, 95, and a 65, 40 for both signal lines confirming, we're just over 75%. For the past 60 days and I showed you those numbers based upon that earlier and like I said remember past performance not fe indicative of future results but it does show you the consistency of the setup so those are the three top traders we'll have right so the second strategy we have what's the difference here's the trades that happened yesterday so now we have what's called a wave trader a wave trader says this. These are the setups that happened yesterday with the Fed coming out. I got break even plus ones on these, by the way. You don't have to do this. But see, it got short right after the Fed came out. It got short at 14.03. The Fed came out at 1400, which is 2 o'clock Eastern. The algo got short three minutes later. Going from 14.04, and a half, and the low was. 83 and three quarters so it had a nice setup 17 S&P points potential and then I got another long here at 18 and the high was uh, 29 10 S&P points there also I walked you guys through a 10 S&P point trade yesterday with the Fed when you guys were in here whoever was in here it was over 10 points I called out the signal lines confirming before it happened and it tanked on the 113.13. Some of you guys saw that. And all I did was match up weaker, stronger position. The difference in the way strategy and the momentum strategy is this. The way strategy, you will get setups that here's a weaker position. One second. There's a weaker position in the market right now on this strategy. I want to stay below my shallow zone. So according to this strategy, and I will show you this in the PDF, parameters to start with, because we are close to getting this wrapped up and sent out to you guys. Like I said, we got an outside program that helped us on this wave strategy, and Gerald thinks we're good to go on that. So we're going to have all this set up for you. Right there is a stronger position because I have it above on this specific strategy. There's above, above 70, below 30, but it has to stay below or above my shallow zone. That is key. This way strategy won't take trades unless you click FZR. This is an FZR trade, which you can click and do a limit order. Not limit order, but a first touch trade where the dot will print right there. It's called an FZR trade. It will take this setup. I have a toggle switch. I'll show you inside of it in one, one second. That's an FZR trade, and that was potential yesterday. 94 and three quarters all the way up to 44, 29 and a half. My point is, is that's a big difference. On this way strategy, I'm going to look for shallow retracements. with signal line wherever 
the signal line is uh, is above in a stronger position or a weaker position. Okay, so when you're doing these, it has your stop built into it already too. You can see I'm in a stronger position here. It stayed long all day into the close. This was a long of 53 and a quarter, 85 and a half into the close. It does have your stop built into it, but you can see it only takes shallow retracements in a stronger or weaker position. That's a difference in the wave. Here's a stronger position, 43.12 up to 43.41. So you see the difference in the strategy. Here's another one. Stronger position, got to stay above 40, went right down to 40. But it's looking for shallow, it's looking for shallow retracements that confirm above or below the signal line. Right, that's totally different than the momentum because it doesn't it doesn't require that, right? Short would be the same way. You can see I'm below my threshold. That's the difference in the wave strategy and then also the momentum strategy. This has an indicator built with it. So what it does, it fires these arrows on an audible alert at this level. Fires an audible alert there. I'll show you in the PDF how to do this. Fires an audible alert right there. Fires an audible alert right there on your computer. But look at the trade. Very similar to the Momo. But what you're doing is you're getting in a weaker position in the market with very shallow retracements. You're getting a stronger position in the market with very shallow retracements. And once again, you're getting a stronger position in the market with shallow retracements. Okay, Gerald, go shut that off if you can.